Well, what's up guys? I'm Tara with Tara Simon Studios and today we have the incomparable Coach Nikki. <laughs> so we've gotten a lot of requests and questions lately about ad-libs. How to do it? What is it? What makes an ad-lib? How do I become a great riffer or runner? And today we're going to address the beginnings of how to be a good riffer or runner or ad-lib or however you want to call it. We're going to show you how to do it. So Basically, I want to break down for you what ad-libbing is, okay? So everybody that sings knows that, you know, you sing through melody, and melody is basically comprised of two things. It's comprised of certain rhythm and a certain melodic line, okay? You sing that melodic line in the context of the rhythm in which the song dictates, and that's what makes that sound specific to that song. And ad-lib is no different. It's just notes on a specific tempo. That's it. And so when you think of it like that, it all of a sudden does, doesn't become this mystical thing that only Beyonce can do, <laughs> but something that you can actually learn. And, and I'm really big on that. Like, you know, our series Sing Better in Seconds is all about going to random people on the street and saying, hey, let me teach you to sing better in seconds. Like, you can be teachable. You can learn. You don't have to be born with this amazingly powerful and flexible voice in order to be able to grow one, in order to be able to get better and go from good to great. So this tutorial just is the same vein as all of the other content that we put out showing you that yes you can and here's how okay so ad libs when we do let's let's take an ad lib um let's what's a song what's a good song that um that has some decent runs in it um or we could even create one let's let's start with a three note ad lib because that would be probably easiest for you guys to learn first um and this could be implemented into any song literally like even the national anthem okay so a three note ad lib oh now all I'm literally doing is going three, two, one. Do you know what that is? That's the beginning of Mary Had a Little Lamb, people. You can sing Mary Had a Little Lamb. You've been doing it since you were two, right? Mary had, oh. But what am I doing to make it sound like a run? I'm doing a couple things. I'm elongating the first note. I'm setting on it. I'm thinking in my mind of the second note. And once I get to that, I'm falling off of it really fast. Oh, oh. Right? So Nikki, I want you to sing, oh, oh. Simple, right? That's how you start to ad lib. It's as simple as that. So what you do when you hear something you like, say that three note run, you don't try to do that thing in that context of that tempo right away. It doesn't have to be that fast. You take the notes, oh, oh. And then once you feel like your voice is locked into those three notes on their own, out of context of that tempo, speed the tempo up a little bit. Oh, 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 And there we have it. We've done a three note ad lib in no time, okay? You can totally do that at home. And by the way, if you don't get to the oh right away, that's totally fine. Go back. That just meant you were trying too fast, okay? Now, Let's try, um, oh, this is one that got me when it came out, okay? And it literally, like, it made me mad that I couldn't do it right away, personally, so I want to teach it to you. Um, when Adele came out with Rolling in the Deep, she did, um, there's a fire, da 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 dum And really, technically, that's also a three-note ad-lib. One, two, three, four, three and four are the same notes, but it just repeated, and I don't know why, but that freaking tripped me up. It made me so mad. I'd be in the car like, ah, wow, why can't I get it? And I was like trying with the song, like to get it and get it. And I was like, just blowing my voice. Like me, I know, I'm sorry. I, you know, the angels fall too sometimes. So like, I just completely lost my cool over this chick releasing the song that I could not get this run. And it was so simple. Right. And then I remembered my own teaching of, hey, why don't you try to like practice what you preach and like slow it down. Mm -hmm. And so this is what really helped me on fast riffs. Okay. I gave you some tempo help, right? To take it out of contents, to uh, take it out of context, take it out of tempo. But sometimes compartmentalizing the riff or the run, whatever you want to call it, ad lib, on a consonant really helps compartmentalize the notes, especially when they're fast moving. So what I did when I was trying to learn that stinking Adele riff back in the day was I went, there's a da 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 dum, da 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 dum, and I found that my pitch was perfect. I found that my timing was completely on, and I did that, like literally for a few days. I wouldn't even try to do the real riff. I just went to that D. So I want you to try Nikki and go, da 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 dum, Da 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 dum. Yeah, on a da. Da 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 dum. Da 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 dum. Right. 
And I want you to think, guys, of the second note, because that second, there's something special about that second note in the run. And I don't care how many notes are in the run, it's the second note in the run that's the pitch you need to think about. Because if you think about that pitch, don't ask me why, but it always ends up on pitch, okay? It's the second note, not the first, and not the last, for sure. Whenever you think of the last note of a run, your pitch is sure to be farther down than it should be. You're gonna be flat on the run. Oh, like it's gonna go down because you're, all you're doing is thinking of the end, thinking of the end. The voice already knows to fall off. So, there's a da 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 dum and there's a da 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 dum. Yes, yes, and that second note always tripped me up as well as the last one. So let's speed it up just a little bit. Still on da. There's a da 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 dum. There's a da 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 dum. Yes. Okay. And then let's get it a little faster one more time, and then we may move on to the vowel. Who knows? Okay, so there's a da 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 dum. There's a da 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 dum. There's a fire. There's a fire. There it is, right? And all of a sudden, you sound like freaking a gal because you did da da dums, right? It's so simple. See, and here's the thing that's really sad, right? You hear these artists on the radio. And they're sounding amazing. And yes, they should. They're artists, right? You're, they're on the radio. Of course they sound amazing. But no one tells you the behind the scenes, hey, here's a trick to do what they're doing because you're hearing the pageant part. You're not hearing the, the, the gym shorts, I'm sweating my butt off working for it part, right? And here at TSS, we like to kind of pull back the curtain on the how-to so that it doesn't seem unattainable. It doesn't seem like something you can't do, but something that if you work towards, you absolutely can can do it. And here's step-by-step -step tangible ways how. So that's that's a trick, two tricks actually, the da-da-dum compartmentalization and the slowing down of the tempo to learn any ad lib, any riff, any run that you want to learn. And that's the ones we did were technically a three and a four note one. I'm gonna count that four, uh, that repeat three and four as another note because it technically is, even though it's the same note. Um, and then once you master those, um, you can get into more complicated ones, take the same principle and move it over into five note riffs, six note riffs, seven, and so on and so forth, okay? So Nikki, do you have anything to add to the ad lib part? Any yes, advice? I like to think of an arch. Um, mm -hmm. Instead of going like da -da -da, like it's going down, you have a, a proclivity to kind of want to put it in your throat. But if you think of da -da -da -da, it goes mm -hmm. forward and mm -hmm. comes down naturally, like you were saying. So Absolutely. I like to think of the arch. Up, up before down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah, and we definitely want to do forward singing. Nothing downward. That actually simulates strain. Anything that's too affected in one direction or the other. So that's really great input and advice there too. So if you wanna learn how to riff or run, Coach Nikki is your chick. She's amazing and hand trained by me at the studio. Make sure, make sure that you check out the in, um, the description box below, links to be able to contact the studio to get in her schedule. Make sure that you also check out our eight week course and our Insta reactions, which are amazing as well. And even Coach Nikki can react to you and see if you should be singing, how good you are, what to do to get better on a quick one and done kind of thing like that as well. So make sure you subscribe, check out the description box below if you haven't already, and we will see you on the next one. Thanks so much, guys.